Today I am comparing an RX2 digital video stabilizer, a SEMA Video Copy Master SEDCM, and a VidiCraft Guard Stabilizer RF Converter with regard to how well they deal with macrovision copy protection. The original copy guard put white and super black blocks just below the sync signal in the 45 lines that are not seen in an NTSC signal. The white blocks fade in and out, messing with the auto gain control on the recording device, causing problems with color and brightness of the image. The first unit I purchased was an RX2, on sale in the 1990s from an electronics catalog for $5. These days they generally cost $25 to $30. The RX2 has an RCA in and an RCA out for composite video signal. The next unit I purchased was a SEMA Video Copy Master. This device features both RCA and S-Video ins and outs and a color black and white switch. The VidiCraft Guard Stabilizer made no claims about removing Copy Guard, but I was able to purchase it at a very reasonable price, so I thought I would see what it could do. For this demonstration, I am using an Ikigami TM91 monitor with underscan and pulse cross settings so the sync signal can be displayed. First we will look at an old VHS of Alien Dead with no copy protection. There is tearing along the sync lines, but obviously no pulses. All my DVD recorders worked fine with no filter needed. Next up is Back to the Future. You can see immediately the white and super black blocks under the sync signal. You can also see the white blocks fading out, then back in again. When I tried to record on my Samsung DVD recorder, I received an error that it was a copy protected movie. I hooked up the video copy master. The white pulses were gone, so tape to tape dubbing could be accomplished without messing with the AGC, but the Samsung DVD recorder still recognized this title as being copy protected. I then unhooked the SEMA and tried the video stabilizer that is built into my JVC playback VCR. This did nothing to remove the white pulses. I then hooked up my RX2. Not only did this unit greatly reduce the intensity of the white pulses, it also removed the super black blocks. The Samsung DVD recorder did not recognize the copy protection and performed just fine. Next up is Predator, another copy protected movie. Again, copy protection prevented recording on the Samsung. This time I hooked it up to the RX2 first and the device recorded just fine. It was now time to break out the VidiCraft Guard Stabilizer. This device did nothing to remove the pulses from Macrovision, but had a knob that seemed to act as a form of V-hole device. This may be helpful on videos with a bad sync pulse, but did not apply to my copy of Predator. My copy of Predator was encoded with closed captioning, so I turned it on. I then noticed that with the SEMA Video Copy Master, closed captioning was not displayed. So it was not only filtering the white pulses, but also the captioning codes that are also white. When I hooked up the RX2, not only were captioning codes preserved, but the Samsung did not recognize this title as being copy protected. It should be noted that the VidiCraft Guard Stabilizer preserved captioning as well. Finally, I decided to try a DVD to DVD-R transfer. For this, I chose Twister. The sync signal on a DVD source was much cleaner on my Ikigami display. There were some white codes that I could not identify. I figured if there was a copy protection signal that could get past the RX2, it would be on a DVD. But again, the Samsung recorder did not recognize the copy protection on the DVD, and again, captions were preserved. Some folks might be concerned that the RX2 only has RCA in and out, but there is a workaround. There is an adapter called a breakout cable that converts S-Video into two signals, white for luminance, red for chroma. You plug the luminance signal through the RX2 and couple the chroma signal together. This will keep the luminance and the chroma separate throughout your signal path. Despite being older technology that runs on a 9 volt battery, the RX2 is the clear winner when it comes to macrovision removal. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a few more filters on order, so I will be doing another one of these demonstrations when they arrive.